One of the biggest risks that I took this year was quitting my job. I was doing what I loved, which was um, creating content and strategizing for clients. But one thing that never settled right with me was the fact that I was pursuing and I was fulfilling someone else's dream. Don't get me wrong, I love, I love helping people, but it just came to a point in time where I needed to break away from it and go back into freelancing. The funny story behind my office being in a barbershop is that one of my best friends, Kevin, he purchased a warehouse and he asked me if I could help him out. Coming into this space, coming into this building, like we had a dream to turn this space and turn the barbershop into a creative space where, where people from the West, people specifically from Parramatta, Mount Jewel, Blacktown, no one's really created a, a community and a culture for creatives to cultivate their calling in their fields. So we wanted to create that space and we wanted to give, we wanted to make a safe heaven where people could come in into our building and be able to create things for YouTube or for photo shoots or for brand and stuff like that. So ever since going back into freelancing, um, I, I, I'm investing more time into the space. I'm investing more time into this community. I see so much potential in everyone and in everything. And there's, there's space enough for everyone to be creative. There's space enough for everyone to have their own personalized calling that God has called them to. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to two things, and that's to know God and to make God known. Yeah, and that's why I do what I do.